And for Oyo State, there is the need to leverage on the beauty and greens of the state. The tourism summit holding on the 17th and the 18th of this month aims to spotlight the state's riches and attract local and global investors to spur economic growth. The two-day event, which is tagged hashtag it's or your state 2024, is geared towards also unveiling the tourism potential of the state to local and foreign investors for investment opportunities. We have joining us via Zoom from Oyo State, the Oyo State Commissioner for Culture and Tourism, Dr. Wasu Latu Bosun. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Okay, thank you very much. Good morning. Great. I'm pleased to be with you this morning. Right. And to our viewers all over the world, good morning, good afternoon, all and right. good evening. All right. Now, it is reported that uh, the potential of uh, your state tourism contributes about 0.48% to the state's uh, GDP, which is translated to about 9.6 million U.S. dollars. That's about, uh, that was in the year 2011. And uh, that uh, the current value is around 96 million U.S. dollars as at 2022. And I am wondering if the tourism sector of the state has this much potential, why did it take the state so long to come up with this kind of uh, event such that it can, you know, explore the sector even much more? Okay, thank you very much. Um, you have to know one thing. Uh, for tourism to thrive, it needs three things. The first one is infrastructure, the second one is security, and the third one is a political will. Right. So until when you have uh, a right person, a round peg in a round hole, as the administrator, an administrator of a state or a country who has interest in tourism, that you can now think of, okay, how do you now want to promote tourism? So um, our principal and the governor for your state Governor Shimaki Day started from the beginning when we assumed office in 2019. He started laying a very solid foundation. From 2019, we started the infrastructure and uh, develop, infrastructure development of the state by connecting all the geopolitical zones in the state. So, or your Ibadan to Okyogu through Money Aishan Road. Uh, or your zone to Kyogun through or your Pashola Ishen Road and Woman Shore to Kyogun through Woman Shore uh, Fakote and Ishen Road. And we also connected Okyogun to Ibarapa through Igana, Igaga Road. So, and presently we are working on Ibadan to uh, Ibarapa, that is uh, Ido to Eruara. To Erua. So all these help in expanding the economy. So, and uh, apart from that, we also uh, improved or res we resuscitated the night business. So, Governor City Market Day um, started Light Up for you Because before we came in, the night business was on, in, in comatose. In fact, it, 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 it was not it's at zero level. So we decided to uh, invest much on infrastructure, that is road, and the uh, light up for your, and other infrastructural facilities, which helped uh, tourism to thrive. And ditto to security. As I'm talking to you, my sister, uh, your state is one of the most peaceful states in, in the entire country. And uh, this has helped us to this has helped us to, uh, I mean, help the tourists. I mean, help us to bring tourists to all your state. For instance, by Friday, if you come to all your state, you hardly see a, a lodging, accommodation in most of the top hotels in Ibadan because people from Lagos, Ogun, Oshun, Udo, and Ekiti, they do come to all your state to enjoy their weekend. So before you can now see uh, any uh, uh, opportunity to lodge in all those hotels, it will be Sunday evening 
up as for Monday. So what that one means is that when you have a leader like Governor Shane Martin, who believes that we want to expand the economy of your state through tourism. So definitely you have to put certain things in place. So I will do that uh, during our first time. The next thing is to give the political will. And that is exactly what he's doing. This will be the first tourism summit in Oyo State because he believes that we have done the needful. We want people to come, see, enjoy, and invest in Oyo State. And we want to now show the potential, the cultural diversity, and the tourism dynamics that we have in Oyo State so that once they appreciate it, we want the uh, tourism uh, enthusiasts and the investors to come to your state, appreciate what we have on ground so that they can invest and they can come to your state. So the kudos should be given to um, Governor Shane Mackenday, who believes strongly that we can use uh, tourism to drive the economy, we can use tourism to promote the economy and expand the economy. And we, are also be, we also believe, just like what you said, that we want to start exporting tourism. So when we want to export tourism, it can be through the uh, tourism site by asking the investors to upgrade the sites that we have so that it can attract uh, foreign tourists, international tourists all over the world. Or they can also come to promote, sponsor our culture tourism uh, uh, festival. We had, for instance, during uh, Governor Shehima today, we succeeded in getting Sango Festival, World Sango Festival, enlisted by UNESCO. With that, it really, um, by this year now, because they, we got enlisted in December. So, by August now, that is next World Sango Festival. Members of UNESCO, over 197 um, um, member countries will come to your state. They will bring their currency to your state. They will come, see, enjoy on your state. We want to showcase our cultural diversity, our cultural value, and our cultural potentials. So that is why, um, because we are doing that, and even Apart from that, we are going to have a uh, uh, cultural carnival later in the year. And we are also planning to repatriate an uh, uh, a festival where we are going to look at the uh, entertainment aspect of a Google. We want to package it to the whole world. We want to see, even the, many countries are now saying that they want to come and uh, be part of the show. So, what we are saying is that we are going to have a Google. Fuji Amala Festival for the period that we want to do it. So by the time, because we have many um, uh, potentials that we want to showcase, you cannot showcase it if you don't have a, I mean, a political will. And that political will is yeah. what we are now enjoying. That's right. And uh, that's being given by His Excellency. Governor Yeah, I was actually going to ask you about what makes because looking at your state and um, about a very large you know city, I think about the largest city um, in Nigeria. Uh, talking about your state, which, is, which has a very large expanse of land, I was going to ask about what makes it attractive destination uh, for tourist tourism and investors and even enthusiasts. But when you mention Amala. Uh, maybe begging and we do very actually chuckled. <laughs> but then, but then, could you could you help us share some insight into the specific strategies or um, initiative the state government is implementing to attract both local and international uh, you know, tourists and investors? Okay, let me first of all explain what is uh, uh, this uh, international tourism summit is all about. This uh, international tourism summit. Or your state that we tag it's or your state 2024. It's a two day massive event organized by the state to facilitate a no hold back bad conversation. We allow everybody to discuss freely 
between government, investors, and local and international tourism stakeholders. So, the event will showcase, just like what I said, showcase cultural diversity and tourism dynamics of your state. Participants would learn how these opportunities, that's cultural and the uh, 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 cultural diversity and th uh, tourism dynamics can be leveraged so that for your state and indeed Nigeria can be more integrated into the global tourism industry for sustainable development. So what that one implies is that we have the data that show that, okay, before we came in, this is number of uh, tourists that used to come to your state. Uh, I know. Today, for instance, let me quickly uh, give you that. Before we came in, we used to have uh, 580-something thousand tourists that used to come to on your state. 583,656 has done both local and international tourists for the whole year. But when Governor Shimakede put up this structure and make, condice, make the environment conducive for um, investors, tourists to come to your state, the number increased from 583 in, net, in 2019 to 5,069,428. Uh, tourists uh, in a year. And our target is to increase it to uh, 20, I mean, 10, 20 million before we finish this uh, second term in 2027. So, now, what that one implies is that when we say tourism, it comprises of um, hospitality business, that is hotel, nightclubs, um, the uh, event center, cinema, uh, eateries, and, and, and uh, tourism uh, uh, operators. That's a subsidiary business. We can also talk of creative industry. So, and we have many like that uh, springing up in our industry because Governor Shea Makede succeeded in creating a conducive environment for tourism to travel. And the third uh, one is the uh, uh, tourism uh, side. So we want to make for your state uh, 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 tourism destination uh, at least in Nigeria, if not in Africa. But we'll start with this sort of, I mean, foundation that Governor Shemakini is putting on guard now. It will, with a short time, we will we'll be controlling the whole will be controlling. Uh, we, our target is to be number one uh, 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 right. tourist destination in Nigeria. Great. Now, let's quickly look at uh, who should attend this uh, summit and why should they even attend. I see that um, you're expecting about 800 uh, attendees. Do we already have that number who have registered for this event? Yes, yes. We have two categories. We have uh, hoping one that we allow people to register online. Okay. So, and uh, they have registered, and by now, all of them have gotten confirmation and the code that they will use to enter. And we have another category, the VIP, VVIP and VIP. So, those are the people that we, uh, uh, we invited. And we also have um, all forms of category of uh, speakers that we, and all those speakers, you will see that it's a well packaged something. All the um, summit, all those speakers are uh, well expected in tourism industry. So, whatever they are giving us will help the state will help the country in promoting and developing uh, tourism. So, I thank God that my principal 
The chief convener of this summit, Governor Uluashi Yabi Odumakede, will be on ground to receive them. And uh, if we are talking about tourism, some, I mean, a governor that has invested heavily in tourism, that we can remember him for a, when he left office, as, uh, former governor uh, Donado is going to be our special guest of honor that day. So we have many people, the caliber, the personality, the kind of personality that we are bringing to, uh, the, the, to, to feature at the summit. It's, uh, it's a big thing that mm. will have value to, to the summit. So it is uh, uh, something that is well packaged. And for the, that is one category A, is those who register and they constitute uh, about uh, 80 percent, 80 85 percent of those uh, that will come. We also have investors that we that show interest, they are going to be there. And uh, we also have a portion that we are uh, we set aside as exhibition uh, ground where I mean, at, where exhibitors allowed to exhibit their wares. So, during that program, the, that place, that exhibition corner is open to every body. So, you can just go there, go through, I mean, you can just go through all the stands, and uh, you can uh, buy anything you like, and uh, you then appreciate uh, the, our state, because they are all our stakeholders. You understand? We have uh, uh, those, the weavers, uh, so the weavers, they have their son there. We have um, uh, Alabash and Leather Work uh, uh, Association, they have their son there. We have uh, National Museum, they have their son there. And many others like that, where they will uh, exhibit the uh, cultural and tourism, I mean, cultural uh, diversity and tourism uh, dynamics that we have. So that you can come to your state, come, see, enjoy, and invest in your state. Yeah, I think you also already answered my question about what the role of um, local participation would be. I think that's uh, the mention of exhibition that you mentioned actually takes care yeah, of that. Yeah. Uh, so, but then could you tell us more about the Exclusive Governor's Award, I mean, Dinner and Awards Night, and its significance okay. in recognizing, you know, um, key stakeholders in Oyo State's tourism industry? And uh, Before I go there, let me quickly uh, highlight the segment, the part. We have three parts for this summit. The first one is a... Uh, um, uh, presentations in form of conference, in, form, in form of uh, interview, charts, and what have you. So that is, and all the, the presentation and interview are geared towards exposing uh, investment opportunities in the state to the delegates, investors, and people all over the world. That is uh, um, category one. The second one is the second segment will be in the evening of tomorrow, that's the evening of Wednesday, where we are going to have a governor's dinner and award night. So governor is, uh, is going to wine and dine with investors and key stakeholders in tourism industry. And we are also using that opportunity to also reward those who have contributed immensely to the development and who are still contributing to uh, 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 um, tourism development of the state. So that it will encourage those people who are coming here that on your state, Governor Seymakende, appreciate and watch them to come and invest and so that they also can be appreciated. And this uh, event is going to be an annual event. So that is two. The third segment is high-level investors meeting with the governor. At that meeting, we are going to dive deep into 
um, um, how do you say, investment opportunity in the state. That meeting is meant purely for investors. So at that meeting, we are going to now do a small presentation where we are going to highlight all the major um, uh, center and if, um, policy sites that we have in, in, in our your state. And we want to, we, we use that meeting to, um, we use the presentation, we use it, we use the presentation to answer the following question. What they should invest, how they should invest, how much they should invest, and how they are going to recoup their business, I mean, their, their uh, investment, if by the time they invest in that. So they will help, that one will help them why they are doing, I mean, when you want to pick any of those sides. And, what, and all the sides that we are putting forward, we just uh, decided to pick major ones. For instance, in Ibadan, we pick cultural center, we pick Bowers Tower, and we pick LA Waterfront. So, and, and, and we have two uh, suspended lake, hanging lake in the world. One natural, one artificial. The artificial is, uh, um, is in the USA, Colorado. But the one that is natural is what we have in Nigeria that domiciled uh, in Ado Hawaii. So we call it Yaki Suspended Lake. So that one is, we also presenting that to uh, investors, who believe the investor, to come and invest there, upgrade it into uh, international level, so that uh, it can attract uh, 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 local and international tourists. And uh, for, we have Yamako as well, that is Igbeti hand. So we have all these for the tourist side. Also, we have the uh, the cultural tourism events. So that is like uh, the one I mentioned some ago. We have a uh, Bele Festival in Shaki. We have three festival. You know, on your state is the twin headquarters in the world. So, and that is Igora. We have been doing this. And uh, we also want uh, companies, sponsors, investors to come and partner with the Toyota State government so that they can uh, showcase and use their brand to mm -hmm. promote those activities, those events. All right. So Thank all you. these things. Mm. Yes, because, because of our time, I just want to quickly ask uh, two questions uh, in one. Okay. Yes. Now, the first one is you have mentioned the, the matter of uh, how much people can invest. Uh, you, they will be told how much they can invest. Could you speak, expatriate on that? Uh, that's one. Uh, what we, and okay, what that's one. Then the other okay. one is uh, for uh, those who are players locally, are there incentives uh, being given to them by the state to encourage them to uh, keep the business going with regards to tourism in the state? Exactly, we have started that already. And that's the reason why uh, the business is booming in your state. Let me quickly give you this information. It will also interest you. Before we came in, in 2019, the um, uh, between 2011 and 2015, um, I and mean 2019, the total hotel that we had on ground uh, was uh, 945 hotels. That is 2019 to 20, uh, no, 20, uh, 1999. That is when this uh, this federation started. That is. Um, Civilian uh, democracy started in Nigeria. Democracy started in, in, in Nigeria. So, the, from what that served between 20 and 1999 to 2019, what they put, that they put a chart to a year's day, uh, uh, um, 945. 
between 2019, that uh, Governor Shimadi came to power, and March 2023, we have succeeded in bringing 1,256 1, hotels. Bringing people to the 1,300. So if you look at it, it that one constitutes about 57 percent. So it already the atmosphere is already conducive. Governor Shimaki has already made that thing possible for them. So and uh, if you look at night clubs, for that period, first category, the whole night clubs the, the, where we, we met on that were well, 79. All right. So, and now, as I'm talking to you, as at March, that we are, the data that I'm additional, we have 643 registered night clubs mm. in, in, in our your state. Because of the environment, the All conducive right. environment, that uh, uh, this digital to event center, digital to cinema, digital to all sorts of things that. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Dr. Wasiu Olatubasa, our time is up. I know there's so much uh, you needed to address with regards to the question exactly. I asked, but time is not our friend. We must thank you, uh, Oyo State Commissioner for Culture and Tourism, Dr. Wasiu Olatubasa, for your time on the program. And we wish you thank a you successful summit. And, uh, let me let me quickly chip in this. We are also expecting uh, Minister no of problem. the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Great. For, uh, thank you. Tourism. Thank you very much. So thank you very much. Right. The entire management team of uh, TVC, I appreciate. Thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to showcase All right. what we have. We have to move on now. The international tourism. Thank so, you. Thank you very much. Southwestern states beef up security measures in its government houses in response to disruption attempts by Yoruba nation 